I had Dick Rocher check it in back with you with uh, 350 Juliet. Juliet, uh, we're over the Central Caribbean and we're planning our descent into Montego Bay, Jamaica. Uh, control called us and gave us direct uh, to a fix that we didn't have in our flight plan. And after the initial confusion, we learned by checking that it's actually uh, part of the ILS for the runway de jour. Uh, and that's going to be runway 7 today. So without uh, missing a beat, uh, I recommended that we load the RNAV since we're WAS equipped. And one way to re just to be entirely frank with you, not everybody has WAS. Uh, in fact, less the majority of people do not. I say people, private aircraft, majority do not have WAS. That's changing quickly, and thank you, Garmin, for making that possible. Uh, WAS is a more stable, uh, more accurate, more desirable approach. But since most pilots don't have it, ATC will offer fixes associated with an, an, an ILS that isn't in our language because we fly WAS. Can we fly an ILS? Yeah. Should we fly an ILS? Only if that's all that's available. So if the satellites get shut down, by all means, fly the ILS. On the other hand, uh, that's not likely, uh, but for training purposes, we should occasionally fly ILSs but that should be at our discretion, not ATCs. So be careful, but uh, we don't want to be flip about it, but we do want to make our point. In this case, we asked for a spelling of Omoxi, the intersection that she gave us, uh, that quickly learned, because we suspected it, that it's on the ILS, because she told us to expect the ILS. And then uh, went direct there because we had accepted that clearance, loaded it in and went there. And then we came back, switched the aircraft, which is already ling wings level going to a moxie, switched to heading, and then loaded the RNAV approach that we wanted. Confirmed that there's an intersection on there that approximates the position of a moxie, which would be out the intermediate fix outside of the final approach fix, and then loaded the approach we want, the RNAV-7. And then called her back and asked her for direct Zavki. Thank you, Victor 350 now. Contact Manly Radar 120, that's Now then, with all those changes, our, our descent plan got scrambled, which is okay. So then, now we know, because blue is true in Garminology, we know that we want to be at Zavki at uh, uh, 2,500. And white is right, meaning that's on the chart. So we asked for a, an ATK offset from Zavki at 2,500 and then populated VS to target at 500 because we're in no hurry and we choose not to change the power in the descent until it's absolutely essential. Looks like it's time for a tank swap. And so now with the new VSR, vertical speed required, computed here, we have it in our view here. We can go back to the map. Note our top of descent and know that uh, in a few minutes, if we ask for lower, she's going to give us a number. But if she asks us for a number, the number is going to be 2,500. Shall we try? Sure. Dick Rochford, fly safely. Train off it.